Okay guys, I've been uh, working on some code and uh, this is the uh, result of my uh, few days of work. I'm leaving this on for a few seconds just to get a good screenshot. And okay. So this is Deluxe Paint. I didn't create this in Deluxe Paint but I did, let's uh, clear it. I did load it up in here and it loads just fine. So this is the uh, test file I just created. And now let's flip to Okay. All right, we're in free Pascal now. And uh, this is the, uh, the the code that created this. So we're in the 256 color mode right now, but all my code works in the various uh, CGA, uh, EGA, VGA modes. Um, so what I'm gonna do first is just demonstrate uh, the various modes and then I'll go over the code as always, the uh, code will be on GitHub after the video, and you can use it for whatever you like. It's MIT. All right, we're going to start with uh, CGA mode and monochrome. And uh, I'm going to reduce this down to 32 because it's not going to look good in monochrome mode that way. And let's run the same demo again this time in monochrome mode and uh, if I switch to deluxe paint again I can load this up same file name and there we go Let's Now we're not in the proper screen for it, so I'll just exit. And so if we select 640 by 200, I believe that's the same screen mode. And here we go. All right. Let's test the uh, next mode, will be uh, CGA four color. And there we go. Now, besides Deluxe Paint, I have also tested my code against um, EarFan View and uh, uh, Graphics 2, and I'll, I'll bring those up in a minute just to show you. But uh, let's load this up. So, uh, Deluxe Paint tells us that this is a four color image. We're going to try and load it anyway and just see how it looks. That's how it looks. Let's go back and select the right mode. So it will be four color CGA and load. And there we go. And uh, here, let me switch over to graphics two. And if you don't know anything about this program, it's um, a heavily inspired uh, paint program. I think it borrows a lot of things from Deluxe Paint, uh, it, but it works in 256 color mode and it can save and load uh, uh, Deluxe Paint files. So I'm gonna load up one of my files. This is the file I just created and um, it shows the uh, the right uh, specs, so it's a 320 by 200, uh, two bits per pixel. So let's load that up. And there we go. 
now this is showing the uh, the alternate uh, CGA palette uh, so if we select uh, CGA mode 0 we get the same palette well not exactly I guess graphics too might not display the uh, colors correctly but that's something I can look into later okay let's uh, go into EGA mode now and that's how that looks and if I flip to ear fan view uh, where's ear fan view got too many open let's uh, close everything down okay here we go now the thing about ear fan view is that it doesn't just it says it's uh, 24 bits per pixel but that's not right um, now I did verify that I'm saving everything correctly in the uh, the right uh, uh, format so I use the uh, hex editor and um, I could look at the uh, the details of the uh, the file and I can see the how many bits per pixel so right here is the uh, bits per pixel and it's uh, saving the the correct format now I'm gonna go back and switch back to the uh, 256 colors change this a bit okay that that's more impressive um, now my code can uh, save either in uh, compressed or uncompressed format and if we look at the uh, the image size of this file it's uh, 64 K basically and um, let's just switch back and compress this now because it's a complex image we're not going to get much benefits um, but it compresses and now it's 62k so our savings of 2k but if this had more um, more uniform patterns it would uh, it would shrink down quite a bit I made it complex uh, as another way of testing my code If you're wondering where I'm looking all the time, I'm, I'm trying to see my desktop because the webcam is directly in front of my taskbar, so I can't see everything per perfectly. Okay. So let's load this up in the graphics 2 again. and that loads up just fine as well so I've tested all, all the various formats with uh, earth and view and uh, graphics 2 and deluxe paint and everything I've uh, created loads up uh, just fine
And so let's uh, take a look at the uh, the code now. So this is roughly uh, 500 lines of code, uh, around 350 in the uh, in the main program, and I've broken off the uh, the packer into a unit. And uh, let's go through that first. So I looked at uh, the various codes out there available, and um, I decided to write my own packer just to see if I can do it, and I did. And it seems to work just fine. Now I've um, also ported a couple of other uh, pieces of code um, that did the uh, the packing, and maybe I'll. I'll have another video on those as well, but uh, I've decided to stick with my own because it seems to work pretty good. Um, I think I've simplified quite a bit of what I I thought would become really complex, but um, I've broken it down and it seems to be uh, easy to read. I, I've left some comments in there. So basically this takes any uncompressed code, and it doesn't have to be graphics, uh, it could be text as well, and, and you just feed it into the uh, the first buffer and then it packs it, and uh, it returns the uh, pack size to you, and uh, you can save that to disk or whatever. And uh, this is completely compatible with the, uh, the Deluxe Paint uh, compression algorithm, so I'm not doing something strange that you won't be able to use. Uh, this, uh, this is how all the uh, uh, pictures have been saved so far, so it's, it, it conforms to the standard just fine. But I'll switch back to my main code here, and um, and this is basically the bitmap header. Uh, it's the same one as, as the uh, viewer I created before, so if you've seen that video, um, some set bit uh, code. And right here is basically the uh, the guts of uh, converting the images to uh, Amiga format, basically what uh, Deluxe Paint uses. So this is some uh, type code here. It uh, it converts a single line into uh, multiple bit planes, basically. So that's how we're able to save the. Uh, uh, monochrome, four color, 16 color, and 256 color uh, modes. Well, not the 256 color mode, that's a special mode. And I'll, I'll kind of go over that in a bit. Um, these codes here, they convert the uh, Intel format to Motorola format, which again is something the Amiga used. Uh, this little formula uh, calculates how much. Uh, bytes will need per row. Uh, this is per bit plane. So four bit planes, you take this formula and multiply it by four. Um, this code, as the name says, writes the uh, chunk name. Uh, deluxe paint files are made up of um, various chunks. And uh, Basically, there's a there's a spec out there, and you can go through it. But uh, here is where we save the color map. Uh, this is where we get the number of planes. We check the uh, turbo, not turbo, free Pascal graph unit has a get max color. Uh, that correlates to uh, us checking how many colors and and specifying how many. Uh, bit planes uh, to return. Uh, this part uh, writes the uh, bitmap header. Sorry, the uh, body. Uh, and this is where we determined uh, what to do with the uh, various modes. So if it has, if if our code returns that has uh, eight bit planes, we save things in a different format. Um, so 
it's a uh, one byte per pixel so that's why we isolate this code here so if it's uh, 256 colors and if it's compressed we use this bit of code here if it's not compressed we use this and all the other formats we convert from a, a single plane to uh, multiple uh, bit planes so we take a uh, single colors and uh, break them down into two four or one two or four uh, bit planes and then we take each bit plane one at a time uh, so if we were doing four bit planes uh, we'd save the first uh, compress the first bit plane and then uh, compress the second bit plane and each time we save that bit plane uh, we don't do four bit planes we don't compress four bit planes at once that just messes up the format that's uh, one of the things that ran across that confused me I thought logically it should just work with the uh, compressing four bit planes per line at once but deluxe paint doesn't like that interestingly um, I believe uh, Irfan View and uh, Graphics 2 seem to load it up with any, without any problems, so that kind of confused me. Um, if it failed on all those, uh, I would have realized I was doing something wrong earlier, but the fact that it worked on those, I thought maybe I was just missing something that uh, Deluxe Paint was looking for. And uh, when we're writing anything for Deluxe Paint, it needs to be padded if it's an odd size so the body size here if it's if it's odd we just pad it with a single byte and uh, we have some other code to update the form size we don't know how big the form size until the uh, the body is written and the form size is basically the size of the file minus eight so this is where we actually save the uh, the different chunks so this is the what we're calling save ILBM and uh, for 256 colors or 8 bit planes we're using this chunk name PBM any programs that encounter that uh, chunk name know what to do with the format and same thing with ILBM um, so it's one or the other they can't be both used and this is the uh, bitmap header we're writing and everything else uh, self-explanatory with height uh, X offset Y offset number of planes masking I'm leaving at zero uh, this is where we set the compression there's a pad uh, byte uh, transparent color I'm using the max color but it's not being used um, aspect Y, y aspect uh, X aspect ratios uh, I don't see them being used but you can set them here as well and the uh, page width and page height now one thing I didn't uh, fully test is the uh, saving smaller images so I did a few but uh, I haven't tested the different uh, dimensions uh, so I've tested some simple things like uh, 40 by 40 80 by 80 and they seem to work just as well uh, you might want to save uh, sizes like that and use them as uh, brushes um, we can let's try that right now actually let's change this to BBM and go to let's do let's do 100 let's do 99 that will give us a hundred uh, width all right then okay so that should have saved it and let's go into deluxe paint let's get out of four color mode and go into 256 color mode and see if we can load that brush
and there it is now I didn't load the uh, or actually did it no the brush colors seem wrong but let me just flip back Yeah, brush colors are slightly off, so I don't know. Yeah, that's something I need to look further into, but otherwise it gets most things. It gets the... Uh, let's just see if... Uh, No, I thought there was palette colors for the brush, but I could be mistaken. No, I don't see them. Oh, well. Okay, that's good enough. Um, so I will put this code on GitHub. Uh, if you run into any problems, let me know. If you run into any bugs, um, if you use it in a program of your own, let me know. I'll check that out. And I guess that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.